weather outside has just been gorgeous and everything is blooming so beautifully. Plus, nature is in full active force, so I don't want to miss a minute of it. It's time for me to get outside. So today I'll be getting ready for the summertime by sprucing up my screened-in porch. I came across some really awesome decor pieces and decorated my porch for under $50 using Goodwill Finds. Plus, I want to show you how all my homemade lanterns will be lighting up my outdoor space in a beautiful way this summer. So stay tuned as I work on my own perfect spot for enjoying the beautiful outdoors. Two dollars for this cute little vase with flowers. This bamboo plant is just three dollars. This bowl is um, two dollars. And look at these big lanterns I got for six ninety nine each. They're giant lan outdoor lanterns. And there's also um, a smaller tent lantern. This one is three dollars. Every summer I come to Goodwill looking for things to decorate my outdoor space. So let's see what else I can find. These pillows are beautiful and perfect. I made some white and blue lanterns and I think this will match really well. Just $1.99 each. Look at this blue, silver, and brown. This will go perfect also. At Goodwill, you can actually find some good pieces in good condition. You just have to know how to spot them. Now to warm up the deck, I like to add drapes in the corners just to add some color. It adds warmth and what I use is sheets. I use flat sheets because you can get enough material to go from the top of the deck to the bottom of the floor. And look, these sheets are just $3, $3.99 for a flat sheet and $6.99 for a whole set. And um, usually I can find colors that I'm looking for. Now, of course, I will be spraying these with alcohol and throwing them in a wash to sanitize them. Huh, look, I might need some curtain rods too. Since COVID, everything gets sprayed with alcohol, so the hard pieces will be sprayed too, cleaned, sanitized, and these should be good to go for my outdoor space. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make some drapes for my outdoor space. These are gold silk sheets. I've washed them. I fold them in half the long way and I'm going to iron them. And I'm cutting this material in half right on the crease because I want two pieces, one for each side of the room. So that the ends won't fray, I'm going to roll these over and tack it down with some hot glue. Now sewing this would be smart but I don't sew. I don't sew at all. That's one thing I don't do for some reason. Um, but if you have a sewing machine, it's a good idea to just put a um, line all the way down on each side and you'll have a nice piece that you could throw in the wash whenever you want. I'm only going to use this for this season, so this will work fine for me just to tack it down. However, if you do use hot glue and you want to keep this for a while and throw it in a wash um, during the seasons, it will survive in the uh, washer, but not in the dryer. The hot glue may melt and make a mess in the dryer. So I'm using some curtain ring clips and I'm going to screw some um, hooks in the ceiling and hang the drapes from the hooks. I decided to use gold and white and like I said they go all the way down to the floor and I think this is going to add some nice warmth to the room. Now one thing that definitely needs a facelift are these end tables. I had them in here for a few years sitting out in the weather and I think they need to be painted. So let's work on these. So I cleaned these down as well as I could and I am going to spray paint them white. Let's 
see how we like that. That is looking a lot better. I should have sanded the top. I also had a little silver spray paint, so I decided to add a little silver to it. I do like the way that is looking. It'll go well with the silver and the pillows. Now, of course, I found these really large lanterns at Goodwill. I love the wrought iron, but I am going to paint these a little silver on the outside to help match the silver end tables and the silver in the pillow. And I'll have some other silver pieces on the deck. I think that's nice. That will be a great accent. Okay, so while those silver pieces are drying, I am going to make a floral arrangement in this pretty silver and gold bowl that I also found at Goodwill for a couple of dollars. I am using these tea roses that I made. These are coffee filter tea roses. I'm using a styrofoam bowl just to poke the roses in and completely fill this bowl up with white roses with just a touch of green. And this will go on a center table right alongside the tea rose flower display that I found at Goodwill. And I think they go perfect together. In front of the roses I'm placing my Dollar Tree beaded lanterns that I made in the last video. These green moss topiaries I also made and I placed them in some white vase that I also found at Goodwill along with these two silver candlestick holders. And these silver end tables are a perfect complement in this room. On this table and almost everything on this right side are all Goodwill finds. Of course the lantern I just found. The basket also from Goodwill which I also filled with tea roses. This very old, heavy, ornate candle stand I got for just $2.99. I've had this one for a few years and I love to decorate in here with that. This topiary I actually made a while back using some garland that I found at Goodwill for $0.25 cents and a stick from outside. Now this heavy wrought iron lantern I got from a garage sale for $6. Looks like I'm having a lantern theme in here this summer. And speaking of garage sales, a couple of years ago I got this four piece real wicker furniture set for just $225. So on my left side silver table, I'm placing my $3 bamboo plant alongside my homemade Dollar Tree house lantern. And to add some fresh greenery to the space, I decided to use some limbs that I trim from my yard inside this large vase. I got this vase a while back at a garage sale for just $5. I filled it with water and placed the stems inside and it makes a very nice large plant. When I bought this vase it was all purple and I painted it with my metallic paint using geometric shapes and it goes just perfect and in here it has all the colors blue, silver, gold, green, even my cat looks good next to it. Now this gold throw I made from the rest of the pieces from the silk sheet set. I just cut the elastic off the fitted sheet and placed it on a sofa just to add a little color and to tie in with the curtains and the pillows. Which by the way the pillows look great in here for just $1.99 each. My $6 giant lantern I placed right next to the vase here on top of a plant stand. The other one I put right here on the floor next to my side chair. 
and they do a great job carrying little touches of silver throughout the room. Now there's a few other pieces that I had already that I also got from Goodwill, like this really large area rug. I got this a couple years ago for just $25 and it's held up nicely out here. Along with this little table, I got about maybe five years ago and I got this for $6. The large round tray on top of the table I've had for a while and I got this from Pure One. Now this year's theme has to be lanterns and since I made so many creative ones and I found so many awesome ones, I couldn't wait till nighttime to light all the candles and set the mood in my outdoor space. I also wanted to add some sparkly silver lanterns to go with the silver pieces in the space. So I made a few extra lanterns just like in my last video, but instead of beads I used diamond wrap. And these work really great as sparkling sconces hanging over my carved wood panels. So since I got my screened in porch together, I really have been enjoying every minute of every day. Nature, the sounds of the birds, and every night. Unwinding and relaxing, enjoying the scenery and the mood. And yes, I do light every single candle, even if I'm the only one out there. Like I said, this is my perfect and favorite spot. Need a little more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools, and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.